Governor Jay Inslee and Senator Patty Murray say they are committed to building a plan to save the wild fish in Idaho. This includes potentially bridging the four lowest Snake River dams, including the one on your screen, the Lower Granite Dam, just 30 miles away from Pullman. Many factors need to be taken into consideration to make sure the fish are saved, while the benefits provided by the dams are replaced as well. And how is this decline in wild fish affecting the small rural towns in Idaho and its longtime fishermen? Maryland News 8 reporter Ava Wainhouse takes us on a trip to the Salmon River. Steve Hilton has been coming to Riggins for 18 years. Oh, I love to come here. And that here is Island Bar, just 15 minutes outside of town. It's just a nice place to get away from things. Getting away from the hustle and bustle of home back in Boise, Steve spends the whole month of October alongside the river. His daughter and son come up on the weekends, and of course, the dogs come too. This is the best spot in the campground, so I get up here early enough to get it every year. <laughs> Steve has been on the hunt for steelhead trout here on the Salmon River, but his luck seems to get worse and worse every year. Steelhead's getting so bad, and there's not a lot of hope of, of it ever coming back. Fishing guide Roy Akins tells us why steelhead numbers are dropping so much. When we get to wild fish numbers in Idaho, we've seen steady decline since the creation of the four Lower Snake River dams. Here at the Lower Granite Dam, which is one of the four Lower Snake River dams, we see a large majority of the steelhead trout that Steve was telling us about migrating to Riggins, to the Salmon River, right now. But as I'm told by Roy, about 55 to 60 percent of these out-migrating fish are lost in one year when there's not ample water flow in these dams alone. And when the fishing's bad, it really hurts Riggins. About 60 percent of our year depends on steelhead from the bars, restaurants, gas stations, tackle shops and outfitters, motels. Everybody depends on it through the winter months. But over at Island Bar, Steve is still fishing, still waiting for a bite. Right now, we get one in a day, we call pretty good. <laughs> and a good day it was. In Riggins, Idaho, Ava Wainhouse, Murrow, News 8.